Right, our vacuum tank, it's got two valves. The valve at the top, the valve at the bottom. So when you're ready to start sucking sludge, the first thing you're gonna do, this is gonna be open, allowing air to, to flow in direct. So we're not sucking through this hose, we're sucking air through there, there's no suction, there's no vacuum. The discharge valve has got a, a flat flap which is pressing up against a, a neoprene rubber seal inside. Secure it with this holding bolt, then you can leave it. So now you're ready to start pulling a vacuum. The engine is running and you close this valve and now the vacuum is sucking through the hose, taking all the air out of here, creating a vacuum, which then pulls sludge in through the big hose from the pit. It's better to operate only one of these valves at a time. If you try to operate them both at the same time, you're gonna get yourself mixed up. When the tank is full, you can watch the progress of the sludge filling up through the side glass. As it gets full, you break the vacuum using this top valve. So now you, there's no longer a vacuum. The sludge stops pulling up the pipe. And now you're ready to discharge. So you release the securing bolt and you just sli slowly open this discharge valve. Initially, especially if it's quite wet, uh, let the uh, more liquid sludge drain out. And then as you get near the bottom of the, uh, of the tank, open it more and more and more. And then eventually let the flap come down the reason you want to let that flap come down is because you want to make sure that if there's any trash that's accumulated on that face that you've dropped it off because if you if the trash is still on the plate when it goes back in it's going to affect your ability to make the seal again so you want to make sure that face is nice and clean and so you go you repeat the cycle until the septic tank or the pit is empty